Okay. I, uh, this is a message for you, JD. Um, I was so, uh, sorry to hear about your mother passing, JD. And yet at the same time, as soon as my mother told me, uh, a couple of days ago, first of all, let me just start by saying today is Friday, June the 28th, 2024. So it was about two days ago. My mother told me, I didn't see your Facebook post until this morning, JD. Uh, but two days ago, my mother told me that, uh, that your mother, Annette had passed away. And so of course my first thoughts actually were for you, JD. Um, Oh, JD's lost his father, his mother, and his brother. Um, and yet, quickly, my emotions of sadness went straight to your mother. <laughs> JD, you know, I've already delivered you messages in the past from both your father, David, and from your brother, Michael. Your family has been special to you, the Irvin family, all your lives, all our lives. And it is the memories of our childhood that really have remained to keep us connected. So, JD, uh, um, you know that I speak to spirit. Spirit to me is a soul, is a angel. Spirit, soul, angel, the same thing. Heaven is very much so real. And I find it a true gift to be able to connect to souls, whether you're in life or you've transitioned to a different space and place, another universe, another world, all of which I refer to as heaven. And your mother, Annette, is most definitely in heaven number one. And oh my, are there going to be a lot of rainbows and color in those skies for you. JD, for your mother now, lives eternally in you, in your mind, in your body, and in your soul, in your memories in your smiles, in your tears, in the photographs that you look back at. So I just have to explain to you really quick, JD, I live on a farm, okay? I have I have sheep and livestock guardian dogs. And, uh, this is my special chick named Chip. She is about 16 weeks old. Um, she was the only egg that hatched from our incubator. And uh, the day after she was hatched, JD, I uh, drove up to Maryland and uh, visited my parents. My mom named her Chip. I don't know if you know this, but my mom is in early stages of Alzheimer's. And she also had a heart attack last year, as well as a stroke about two years ago. So here we are at this phase and stage of our lives as the children, JD, that our parents do leave us. Um, I like to remind people, JD, that uh, number one, death is but a breath, a final inhale and exhale, and or, and, um, life is eternal so I, I believe you kind of are already on that realm you understand that your your brother and Michael and your father David and now your mother and that I uh, they're not dead there's no such thing as dead people death is but a breath we leave behind our body we leave behind our mind and we take only with us our soul your mother wow so when I hung up before I hung up with my mother the other day, JD, uh, your, well, your mother was right there. And she, you know, that's how it is for me, JD. Um, it's a mere thought, you know, I don't know if you've ever heard in life, a prayer is a mere thought. Well, for me, yes, that's true. And also a mere thought for me, Natalie, um, connects me immediately to a whole other realm of life uh, via soul. When I'm connecting with angels, JD, um, it's almost as if they, uh, heaven comes into my being, my mind, my body, my soul, my three entities, and it takes my mind and puts it on a little shelf, you know, and they enter my soul, and then my soul, through my entire life, JD, I've been learning, um, I don't know if the word is decipher the language of heaven, uh, it's more like understanding the language of heaven, and the ways that angels communicate with me. Um, uh, it is not conversations like, you know, me and you sitting down having coffee together. It is very much so like charades, you know, there's signs, there's visions, there's physical feelings, um, at times. And, um, I've come to understand what it all means. 
So whenever I'm giving a message for the first time from a soul, I've already given you messages before, but this is the first time from your mother. I, I am prompted by spirit, angels, souls, your mother to give this little spiel that I just gave to you five minutes long. I will uh, begin here in a second. I want to let you know I never apologize for the length of time that it takes for me to deliver a message. Uh, videoing my messages, JD, is something that is new. Um, in the past several months, uh, I've had many people who I've delivered messages from angels to in my life. Um, they say that it's better to receive beyond just my written words, you know, to see um, and to hear because it is often through me that you will hear and feel, you know, uh, your senses will be tapped into to your mother. With all that being said, the first thing I have to say is that your mother's first vision that she presented to me, I have to back up a little bit, JD. I know that you are a Marine, Semper Fi, you know, all that kind of stuff. I, I'm almost embarrassed to say uh, I'm really not big into <laughs> knowing the symbols of life, uh, but the first symbol your mother gave me uh, was, it was, I know what it is now, but I, it, for, I was like, what? It's an eagle standing to the side, you know, and I could see like a ball around it, you know, like a circle around it. And I was like, oh, is this the Marine medallion was the word I said. I was like, no. And then my mind goes and then your mother comes in. She's like, no, not a medallion, Natalie, an emblem. I said, but is this the Marine Corps sign? And Annette said, that's for you. So remember uh, when we have loved ones, JD, that go to heaven um, and become angels, all they want our loved ones, our beloved ones in heaven for us in life is to continue living a peaceful and joyful life. And um, well, your mother was a most peculiar, adventurous soul, lady, girl, woman, mother, beautiful, beautiful soul very colorful. I mean, I'm talking, uh, this is what's beautiful with your mother when she presented with this, uh, the Marine Corps is the first sign for me. Well, I, I knew it was you for you. And, um, that's when I felt her pride. It was like, she was like my boy, my boy. Um, <laughs> it was the next day I connected with your mother actually yesterday. Okay. Uh, I connected with her the first day my mom told me, but it was like the way I am with Spirit JD is I'm like, you know, hey, now's not a good time. I, I want to have time. I never rush Spirit. Uh, we've been going through a big heat wave here in North Carolina, and we do have 28 animals on the farm. And this little chip that doesn't even know how to be a chicken. So she occupies my full attentions all the time. Uh, I will never apologize for the length of videos because uh, these messages are real. They are beautiful, and um, they are not me. Uh, utilizing my mind to write beautiful stories of, of somebody who's in heaven. Um, these are real messages. So your mother first presented with the Marine Corps sign, and that was like, whoa, that really, really, I, I could feel it actually, JD, physically right here in my core. I then heard the words, um, she had me feel like you were saying to somebody, my mother is now free. And then I heard the as a dot 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 what do we usually think of in life free as a bird you know your mother Annette went on to say oh <laughs> I am free I am free as a bird I am free as a kite I am free as a cloud I am free as a butterfly I am free as a tree I am free as a plane in the skies I am free as a bug I am free as a eagle she does present JD her first spirit animal for you to always be aware of is the eagle. And I, I get goosebumps right now just thinking about that uh, because that's really beautiful because that's, well, that's the Marine Corps. So uh, your mother is very much so wanting you to know, JD, that she, she now resides within your soul permanently, 24 seven, full time, eternally. Uh, and this now begins a new journey for you to begin um, seeking your mother's trinkets and treasures and signs and breadcrumbs that she will leave 
along your ways and days in your life, all to remind you that she is more than well and alive and thriving and living beautifully in peace and joy, as well as sharing all of her angel self with not only heaven, with life, with you, your children. At this time, when your mother was coming through, uh, talking about I'm free as a kite and a bird and all of that kind of stuff, on my personal, in my barn, on my Alexa, my music thing, uh, Frank Sinatra's song, Let's Fly Away, was playing. Um, when, okay, one of the things with uh, angels is uh, angels love to utilize life to deliver such messages. And one of the greatest ways that uh, angels utilize life is through music, JD. Um, uh, music is very powerful. It has the words, it has the rhythm, the beat, the tune, uh, which also then also has the memories, you know, of life. But you need to keep in mind that oftentimes when spirit presents a song as part of their message, as your mother did with this Frank Sinatra song, it's, it's not likely that it's gonna come through to you as, oh, that was my mom's favorite song. It's not about that, it's about the words. Make sure when this video is done, JD, at some point you listen to this song by Frank Sinatra and you really listen to the words. Look up the lyrics because these words are from your mother's beautiful soaring, and I mean soaring soul. Wow. Um, at one point I asked Annette, well, where's Michael? <laughs> I don't see Michael, you know, because, and these are visions I get, okay, but they're not through my eyes, JD, they're through my soul's senses, okay, we all have our own senses in life, sight, taste, sound, smell, um, sight, you know, whatever, uh, these are coming from my soul, JD, not my mind. So again, this is not me making stuff up or creating some story. Uh, I, in this vision with your mothers, I couldn't see through my soul's eye. Where is Michael, you know? And at that point, um, your mother was laughing and she said with her, she goes, I don't know, he's off in the, he's off on a horse somewhere. He'll be back, you know? And at that point, your mother, the vision kind of went beyond your mother and I could see behind her, the largest sunset I've ever seen in my life. It took up like the entire, like I, if you call it a field, it was a field, but it was heaven, JD. And there was Michael, only a silhouette of Michael. I could not see his face. I couldn't see anything of, of him. And yet I knew it was Michael. Um, and how beautiful of Michael he was giving this time to his mother, your mother, to present herself to you. Michael stood off in the back, which is very common for other spirit when they present um, during a message. It is ultimate respect. And uh, I found it beautiful to see Michael riding off into this most magnificent, ginormous sunset. Um, your mom also said he's probably off looking for a hot or cute angel. <laughs> I said, okay. Um, she said, he'll be back soon. He always comes home. Wow, I got goosebumps there too. Um, your mom then gave me a vision, JD, uh, and I hope these visions make sense to you. I hope that they do paint a picture for you because uh, this is, again, not me. This is your mom wanting to gift you, JD, right now, deliver to you right now uh, such visions that you can hold on to, um, to always remember your mother by. So remember, whenever you see an eagle, know that well you're a marine but also know that your mother is always present whenever you feel your mother know that that is your mother with you she is with you always also know that know your mother is never going to be standing behind you or in your bedroom with your wife when you're uh, in an intimate moment or if you're on the bathroom you know going to the bathroom uh, spirit is very respectful and yet you must also know that your mother's soul does live within your soul and so all it takes for you is that mere thought that generates your senses jd know that whenever you feel your mother, this is her. She showed me a vision of her wearing almost like a, do you remember Three's Company with Mr. and Mrs. Roper? Uh, she gave me a vision of her wearing like one of those like moo moo dresses, you know, like a Mrs. Roper style, very Florida-like colorful, you know, greens and pinks. She loves the greens and pinks colors. I have to remind you, JD, that I don't have many memories of your mother. Uh, your mother and your father divorced when you were young and um, 
So most of my memories, I'm not sure if they're really memories of your mother or if they're memories via stories shared from the Irvins and the Hotsons along our lifetime years. So uh, to, to receive these messages from your mother was really quite something. Um, she showed me that her hair color was very dark. And at that point, um, she said, that's for today. <laughs> Meaning that she uh, she likes she likes to have um, a lot of change in her life. She likes to constantly change. Um, she then showed me a vision of her with this very very dark hair, and it was like flat iron. She looked like Cleopatra. Okay, she looked like Cleopatra, wearing a white gown, and she was being carried literally on one of those like cot style. Uh, uh, beds like from the Egyptian times where um, handsome big men, you know, bald men uh, wearing also white with a lot of gold were carrying her. She had a wave, a fan, not a wave, a, a fan. She was so beautiful. The light shone down on your mother's face. She wanted me to share with you that her complexion is flawless. This is something I see often in visions. Uh, this is your mother's way of letting you know she is as beautiful as she's always been, regardless of age. At this point, I could also hear a lot of bangles. Look, I'm wearing bracelets. You see? I started to hear. And it wasn't mine, okay? This was like, again, in a... In a, in a my soul's sounds i was hearing these bangles and at that point your mother gave me a vision of her wearing a lot of really beautiful it was gold and silver bracelets on her arm um she said whenever you hear the sound think of me <sighs> She went, she mentioned the word mocha. So a lot of times spirit will also, when they're coming through JD, uh, it's very fast. I don't know if you remember the movie Flash Gordon, where they erased everybody's memories and you could see it on the screen, like their whole memory was being erased. It's not like that with spirit, but it is an easy way for me to explain to you. Spirit, angels, a soul can give me an entire lifetime of visions in the snap of a finger and the blink of my eye. It is very, very fast. Um, so again, there's no way my mind could keep up with what, what comes through. It's my soul. Uh, a lot of times they'll come up with things and I, you know, I, my mind might come in with a little bit of what? And spirit in a charades way will be like, just keep going, keep going, pass, pass, you know? And so your mom did bring up the word mocha to me. And uh, at that point I did see a vision of a coffee mug. A uh, very colorful pastel colored coffee mug. Again, the greens and pinks were in this coffee mug and that's bizarre because I have a coffee mug that looks just like the vision she gave me. At this point, she kind of rolled her eyes playfully and she looked behind and I could see that the silhouette of Michael who was earlier riding off into the sunset on a horse, uh, I could now see his face and he was on his way back home which home is heaven and heaven is everywhere there's not a house that they live in in heaven jd they're everywhere it's not a body it's a soul it's energy um <laughs> and that said that uh she had a glass of wine waiting for michael she had a glass of wine waiting for michael As your mother continues to adjust, we all do adjust. We don't just, you know, die. Uh, well, everybody's different, first of all. We don't just die, and then all of a sudden we're floating around in heaven, you know, like some orb or something. Um, there's many doors to go through. Um, your mother is one of those souls that, did, well, the only doors she had to go through were the doors of color, the doors of joy, the doors of, uh, your mother was very accepting of her passing, JD. Uh, she knew she was passing and she was very much so at peace with it. Uh, she had me feel her struggles, uh, for quite some time now. I know she had Parkinson's. Um, I don't know how she was feeling all these years. Um, but she had me feel that is gone. Those days are done. <laughs> she mentioned again Frank Sinatra earlier, the song Fly With Me. Uh, she 
mentioned Frank Sinatra and the word New York. I don't, and she did again, she did the swipe, you know, just keep going. So I'm like, okay, I put a question mark. What does New York mean, you know? It's supposed to mean something to you, JD, and this is now your treasure hunt. Uh, this message um, your mother delivers to you through me of my soul. This message is for you. None of it is supposed to make sense to me unless it does make sense to me in such charade ways that I can explain. Um, your mom also had me hear the clanking of a glass, like a drinking glass. And uh, there was ice cubes in it. And she had me look at the glass and I could see it was clear. This is a common vision for me to see of heaven. If we liked to drink alcohol in life, if we liked to smoke cigars or cigarettes in life, if we uh, wore glasses in life, uh, very much th so these things still remain in some different way in heaven, and yet it is all pure, and so it is always clear in vision. Oh my God, my bird is down. What are you doing down there? You're going to get hurt down there. Get up here, Chip. Oh dear Lord, JD. I'm almost done. She gave me a vision of, of handing a gift to a young boy with blonde hair. I didn't see your face, which signifies to me that's because you're alive. Um, different than when I saw the silhouette of Michael and I couldn't see his face. When I can't see a face that vision presents, a spirit presents rather, it is because that soul is still alive in life. So I knew when your mom gave me this vision of her handing a, a gift to a young boy, I could then, without seeing, I could feel to see a Christmas tree with colored lights on it, not white lights, and a lot of hanging decorations. I couldn't see what the toy was that you opened in this vision, and I don't believe this vision was meant to be shared as a memory for you. JD, I believe this vision of Christmas is a entire charades way of letting you know your mother is present with you for all of your life and that all of your life moments are as special as Christmas to a child. I then heard, um, she even showed me a vision of her. She, she was like, just keep going, Natalie. She even showed me a vision of her in the movie Xanadu, which is also one of my favorite movies. So again, when spirit connects to me, spirit does connect through my soul. They know who I am, Natalie, in life. And, uh, and it's, it's beautiful when they can share such things. Your mother was fun. She is fun. She will always be fun. Note that there's no past tense with your mother. Simply because she is not here in this life anymore doesn't mean that she is gone and no longer exists. So please always refer to her. I love my mother. It doesn't have to be I loved my mother. She had me, <laughs> she loved Xanadu, the movie. She was amused. She said she was amused in life. And I love that because that's how I feel I am too. She then at that point also showed me a vision of her hair. Remember, she showed me Cleopatra. Then she also showed me a vision of her feathered, long feathered, you know, 1970s style hair, JD. Uh, just like Kira, Olivia Newton-John from the movie Xanadu. She did like this, you know, she was like flinging her hair back. Uh, she was showing me how free her spirit is for you to see. At that point, your mother then went on to sing the song very softly, and this was for you, JD. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know how how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. This was your mother's way of letting you know that you will always be her baby. She filled her soul and it is fueled for eternity now with the love of her sons. You. Michael knew this all along too. You were the special one, JD. You were the chosen one, much like don't tell anybody in the Irvin family, but I'm the chosen one out of five. You had two, I had five. So uh, this is a sweet, very sweet vision from your mother for that. Um, she ended this vision with, uh, I could see the, the, the book by Dr. Seuss very common gift to give people when they graduate high school or college. Oh, the places you'll go. 
Your mother had me feel very much so that she was a Dr. Seuss kind of woman in life. And she changed the words a little bit to, oh, oh, the places I go. I think the book is The Places You'll Go. She changed it because this is now her book, her new book. She is writing her new book. It's a brand new journey for your mother in heaven and it's most beautiful. JD, I thank you for watching this video. I need you to hear me, Natalie, say to you now, I am very sorry to hear about your mother and yet I'm filled with such peace for your mother. Death is a part of life, as you know, being a Marine and um, your mother lived a beautiful life. 84, you know, um, that's old. I'm not a person of perception, so to me, uh, when somebody's life ends, it really has nothing to do with age. It has to do with the life we lived in this life. And your mother lived a most fulfilling, most colorful, most bountiful, most shared, most enjoyed, most reciprocated with others and all others in life, life. She's left her imprint everywhere, Michael. I mean, JD, I just called you Michael, oh my God. That's because Michael's here right now. Oh my God. He's like, bro. He's... Okay. This is, this is wild. I love this. I know I sound crazy, JD, a lot. Uh, my urban family is a little bit like, Natalie's crazy. I assure you I'm not crazy. It is all beautiful. Your mother looks forward to this new beginning for you. It is said in life, JD, that when one life ends, a new life begins. And that new life that begins can be a new beginning in any which way. Your mother has me feel that this new beginning for you is a new journey, a new adventure of seeking beyond the knowing of this life. Your mother wants you to continue being aware of everything that surrounds you as well as everything that you feel. Because everything that you feel is your mother leading you, protecting you, loving you, not just from above, JD, not just from around, from within. I love you, Teddy.